Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. You can see beside me, I have three pretty good sized pumpkins. Three biggest pumpkins my Walmart had. In front of me, I have three different shotgun shells. I've got some seven and a half ounce bird shot, some double lot buck shot, and then some slugs. I did a little bit of a cutaway there so you can see the difference between the slugs. Let's get a little closer to those there. You can see the bird shot I kept in with saran wrap, then the double lot buck, which is nine pellets there, and then the one ounce slug. These are all 12 gauge, and we're gonna see what it does to these pumpkins. I'm gonna start with the bird shot, then the buck shot, and then the slugs. I'm gonna load three of each, and assuming the first or second shot doesn't blow away the pumpkin, we're gonna see what three shots of each does to a pumpkin. So, this should be a really fun video. I'm gonna start with the bird shot. Let's see what happens to the pumpkins. All right. For this video, I'm using a Hatfield SAS 12 gauge, which is a semi-auto. I'm going to start off with those seven and a half bird shot here. Loading up three. Let's take some shots here. Ready to go. Let's see what we can do on this first pumpkin here. So, there is the entry with three bird shot. Ooh, and this definitely smells like pumpkin. And then there is the exit. And again, there you saw we're shooting pretty close, so. That was probably like two yards away shot, so. Definitely cleaned all the stuffing out of that pumpkin. Let's set this one to the side, move a step up to the buck shot, see what happens. Same shotgun, we're gonna do the same shots. New pumpkin, let's do three shots of that double up buck shot and see what we can do here with the buckshot. I have no idea what this is gonna do. Probably something a little bit crazier, but let's see what happens here. There's the entry there with the buckshot. And there's the exit. Honestly, not too much difference between those two. Let's go get the third pumpkin and shoot it with the three slugs and see what happens. All right, third pumpkin set up. Now we got the one ounce slugs. Let's see what these slugs will do. So you can definitely see the three distinct holes there from those three slugs. Then looking at the back, not much of a surprise there either. So honestly, between the bird shot, the buck shot, and the slugs, they all did just about the same thing. But I think we need to go get a few more shells just to finish this video off a little bit. Be right back. I'm going to load up this shotgun to the max, which is five shells for this particular semi-auto. And, whew, I'm out of breath from running to go get more ammo. But, I'm gonna fill up this semi-auto all the way to capacity, and then we're gonna give these pumpkins the beans, see what happens. But, let's go. Oh, jam. We gotta load up some more. Let's see what we can do with these five. Smoking. 
Thanks for watching the video today, guys. It was a whole lot of fun shooting those pumpkins. Big thanks to Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors. Everybody go check out those guys if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel. We'll see you on the next video. Hootie Hoo!